Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. We're in the middle of I Serve Weekend. We'll look forward to seeing you in the services tonight and all day tomorrow as we talk about the fact that God has great expectations for your life. God looks at you. God believes in you. God has given you abilities, and God has a plan for your life. But right now, I want us to go back and talk about the will of God for a minute. Sometimes the will of God is like the bumper guards in a bowling alley. Now, when Shasha was little, every Monday morning we would go out to Mega Mall. That's when she was little. Every Monday morning on our day off, we would head for Mega Mall. And at Mega Mall, we would, uh, she would play in the ball swim, she and Sister Bev would go ice skating, and then we'd all go over and join up and we'd go bowling together. Now, Sister Bev and Shasha both like get in the lanes with the bumper guards that come out because then the ball makes it almost the way all the way to the end and they can you know it's like shooting pool they can just bounce the ball down and down but we'd always get the ones with the bumper guards and the bumper guards kept the ball going in the right direction sometimes God's knows are his bumper guards to keep you in the right direction to get you to the place where you can hear his will Acts 16 beginning with verse 6 Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Ferga and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word of, in the province of Asia. That's where the seven churches are from, Ephesus and Pergamum and Smyrna and Thyatira and all of these. Paul was not allowed in there at this point. That was to come much later, and a great revival swept that whole part of the world. But right now, the answer was no. When they came to the border of my Asia, he tried to enter Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus would not allow him to. There's the second no. So he bounces off going south into what was then called Asia. He then bounces off going north, which is what's called Bithynia. So they passed through my Asia and went down to Troas. And during the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, come over to Macedonia and help us. Now, he got his guidance. But I want you to notice, sometimes God does not let you do things. And you feel like, boom, I just bounced off of that opportunity. And then you start to move towards something else and boom, you bounce off of that opportunity as he says no again. But as you keep moving forward in life, did you hear what I just said? As you keep moving forward in life, you don't stop. Paul kept moving in a direction. He bounced off the south, he bounced off the north, but he kept moving until he got to the city of Troas. And that's where God spoke to him. Because now he's at the water, he has to make a decision, where do I go? I'm at a port city. Do I get on a boat and go home to Antioch of Assyria? No. Paul, this is where I want you to go, into an area that you've never dreamed of, a place you've never been. I'm going to send you to the poorest area in the Roman Empire. The gospel must be preached to the poor. Now, lots of thoughts here, but just take away one strong lesson. Sometimes as you keep moving forward, you bump off a couple of God's no's so that you can get to God's great big yes.